Get over there. <laughs> Y'all are gonna be a speed bump. with you for new schools and uh them around to this side maybe they'll understand the map a little yeah. more if they're over here so we partner and have been partnering with you for new schools for a long time now so i started at james river association in 2017 so some of my first sixth grade students are high schoolers now yep yeah. i might see some of them in the environmental classes we're going to see environmental science classes from heritage and warwick might see some students that started in 2017 but we just think that this is a way more fun way to learn these things so you're going to learn all this stuff in your science classes in sixth grade and we just think it's uh it's better to do it this way is anybody it's a like more a fun. hands-on learner like for me being virtual and hands-on makes more sense like if you're reading out of a book like i just i'm not going to do it i got to be hands-on so that's what these field trips are all about yeah, yeah. me too yeah, yeah. sweet so this is a map that we made, and uh, this is going to help us to learn about watersheds. Has anyone heard the term watershed before? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Nice. Is that something about watersheds? Okay. I've heard the word before. Okay. So watersheds are areas of land where all the water goes to the same place. The water like sheds off of the land. That's why they call it a watershed. So, yeah, it drains to the beach. Yeah, lowest point. Beaches are a good uh, example of something that would be the lowest point. What are you telling me? Oh, James River wants to be in that exactly what we're saying. But so, it's not dirty. We'll talk this about is that. a map of a watershed. So, the watershed I'm going to be talking about is inside this pink line. Everyone can see my pink line, hopefully. It's the watershed for this body of water right here. Does anyone know what that is? This is the Atlantic Ocean right here. This is the ocean. This is a bay. This body, this type of body of water is called a bay. Does anyone know which what our bay is? Chesapeake. Yes. Oh, sure. yeah. Chesapeake Bay. All right. This is the Chesapeake Bay watershed. So everything inside this pink boundary, if it rains, it goes into a river and it goes to the bay. And anything that can get into those rivers goes to the bay. Even some stuff that we would not necessarily want to have going in there all right so the other things that are on this map are some states and they're outlined in black big thick black marks and there's some rivers okay does anybody recognize the shape of a state on this map you got one virginia is definitely on this map you label virginia for me you can put it uh, right here. 
Are these little things up? Sweet. Awesome. All right, that's a good starting point. Virginia's right here. It's at the bottom of the Chesapeake Bay watershed. So we've got that this state. Goes. We got that state. We have this state. We got this one. And we have this one. What state there? is north of Virginia? Anybody know what is our neighbor to the north? Yeah. They're really big on crabs like we are. They're actually bigger with blue crabs than we are. Some people go there just to eat crabs in Baltimore. You know one you think? I think it's right there. I think it's steaks. Steaks. So it's this one, it's this one right here. Guys, the ravens are from there and they beat my broncos on Sunday like really bad. So they're from this state, the Baltimore. What do you mean by that? Oh, the football team. Yeah, That's right. the Baltimore Ravens. Baltimore is in what state? Anybody know? It's okay. She almost, yeah, Katie almost gave it away. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard of Maryland before, I've been to Maryland. Maryland. This state is called Maryland. And it's this funny looking one right here. The bay comes up right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, this funny looking shape right there. Uh, so we got Virginia. Are you job of Virginia How far is it going to be? Probably about three hours. Yeah, I was going to say it's about three hours. From Not here. Bad. So I'm going to look for one minute. From here. It depends on where you are on the map. Yeah, from here, where we are. We're at the very bottom down We're there. right here. So from here to there is probably about three hours, depending on how deep these are. <laughs> yep. Yeah, right now. All right. I try to skip these. So we've got this state that's to the west of Virginia, and this little piece of it is in the watershed. See, it's past this line. So think about what he said. It's the west of Virginia. Yes. West Virginia. Yes. Yep. You throw it anywhere you want on there. Perfect. All right. So we got Virginia, Maryland, West Virginia. Those three of our Bay states. Okay. Now we're gonna work up here. We got this big rectangle, big rectangular state right here. The border is New Jersey. This is not in our watershed, but it's on our map. This is New Jersey, but we're talking about this one and this one. And this state right here has got Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, the Liberty Bell, the Liberty Bell. Yeah, the Liberty Bell. Uh, the Liberty Bell. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Good. Good job. Yes, sir. All right. These next, these last two are kind of hard because we can't see the whole state of this one, and this one, the other one's pretty little over here. So this, this little one right here. Okay. And this is not one that we think about a lot. And it's a small state. It's over here next to Maryland, and probably. The name of the state is more famous with an event of our first president, George Washington. He crossed a river to get to the British in the Revolutionary War in boats. He did it overnight to surprise them. And this river and this state are named the same thing. Anybody know what I'm talking about? No. Nope. So he actually crossed this across this river right here. It's not in Virginia. It's not hard though. This one's hard. hard. Yep. It's a very hard one. Is it a money me? It's the one in my hand, yeah. Did you see it? What's it say? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so that state know. is called Delaware. Has anyone heard of Delaware? Yeah. Delaware. It's a very small state small. guys. When I I lived in uh, Philly for a little while when I drove Same. home. Okay, oh, cool. Yeah. When I lived there and I drove up to Virginia, I would kind of go this way and have to go through Delaware and then Maryland down. It took me 30 minutes, that's it, to get to Delaware. Yeah, that's All long. right. I moved up to Philly now. So the last one, up top up here, we got a little bit of this pink that comes up above this state boundary into this state up here. And this state has probably the biggest city in the U.S. Is it New York? Yes, sir. Yeah, I was going to say. It is. Yankees. Yeah, New York City itself is not, but part of New York State, the state, is in our watershed. Okay? So this is New York. Very good. So these are our six states. we got Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, 
Delaware, Pennsylvania, and New York. Okay? So all of these states have a little bit of their land area, their boundary inside our watershed. Okay? I'm going to do the first river that's not in Virginia. So there's five big rivers on this map. Okay? And four of them in Virginia. Those are really the ones we want to teach you. But there's one more that is really a big part of this watershed. It's why Pennsylvania and New York are inside this pink area. And it's this river right here. Anyone want to give a, give a try to pronouncing this one? Say it again. Pretty close. You're so close. Kind of hard, right? Native American name. It's called the Susquehanna. Susquehanna. He was close. Very good. It's this river right here. This one that comes up through New York and Pennsylvania. Okay. It comes into the top of the bay. It's very important. It drains a lot of this area up here. And so what happens on this river, nowhere close to us, right? It's up here. We're down here. Guess what? What happens up here matters to us down here. I was just out at Huntington Beach collecting the water samples this morning. Has anyone been there? Huntington Beach, right over there by the bridge. Maybe you've been to the fishing pier? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So I saw the commercial fishing fleet out there. Right now they're dredging for oysters. They've got these boats, they're kind of pointed at the front and they come to the back and they have this big deck, they're called dead rises, and they spin around out in the water like this right now. And they're dredging up oysters. So guess what happens? If we have pollution and stuff that's getting into the water, if this river is not healthy, it's coming past us down here, eventually. And it affects us and them. And that's not fun, right? That's frustrating. It is. Through guys, no fault of our own, and our water quality is not good. If there's too much pollution, guys, you can't eat oysters. Yeah. Because they're filter feeding. Yeah, they're filtering everything out. They're going to collect all that kind of stuff. Your dad's an oysterman? So he rose up. Have you been on his boat? I probably <laughs> saw him this morning. See, that's so cool. Out. That's awesome. Yep, I probably saw his boat this morning. They're all out there going around. That's really cool. But yeah. Pollution up here affects us down here. The Susque we teach the Susquehanna, but it affects us. So we got four rivers in Virginia. We got one, two, three, four. James already told you where we are on the map. We're right that here. That should help you out. And we're talking about the river that's close to us. So we know one. We got one river, right? Which one is it? Which one do we know? Yeah. Yes, sir. Good job. Which one is it? It's right past those trees. And remember, James pointed that we're where on the map? Yep, good job. Yep, we're the bottom. Very good. So we've got three more. The order right here is P, R, Y, J. P, R, and Y are what we have left. Does anyone know another Virginia River, baby? Anyone heard of one before? So in order yeah. to remember the order, guys, we always say, please remember your jacket. So if we're saying P, do you know a river that starts with a P? It's in Northern Virginia. Reach back in there. What do you guys think? Northern Virginia, close to DC. What'd you say? Oh, we're thinking over here. He's up a second ocean. No, no. Isn't that cool? <laughs> James River. We got the James. That's on our river. bottom, yeah. That's the one that we're on. All right, 